Hey crafty cuties, hope you guys are doing lovely. Today I'm going to share this unicorn junk journal for Kathy with you. And this, I have actually a couple things that I still have to do to this one, um, but this is my only chance to film it. So um, I'm going to be placing this on the front here. However, I need to get some rough and buff, I think that's what it's called, to make this gold so that it will match. And so you can imagine this will be here, but it will be gold as long as I can find that stuff. Um, so here we go. Uh, I wanted to leave hers kind of blank just because the paper I feel like has so much going on. And I, of course, I used my gold scallop here. And uh, this is the side here. I did the cross stitching on hers. Um, and then over here we have some ribbons and then some just pretty little charms. Um, yeah. <clears throat> and the back is just kind of the plain stuff here. Um, all the pretty things hanging off the top and on the side, the little clips and things like that. I used some seam binding to close hers and it's pretty chunky but at the same time she definitely has room to fill this up. And so I really, I tried to hold back from adding too much just because I really want her to be able to fill it up and you know be able to close the book somewhat. <laughs> So in here we have just a little uh, bag to start out with and uh, this is not actually attached all the way. I'm going to attach this once I have the front attached so that will kind of cover the back hardware. So let's try to go through this kind of fast. Um, yes, so we have lots of pockets, little flip outs, little like hidden pockets that you might not think there was a pocket. I had the hand stamped tags throughout just like I did with my last unicorn book. And of course I won't be able to get that back in. I'll put that in in a minute. <laughs> um, lots of ribbon trims and things on the sides here. A little cross pocket. Um, when I first started her book I accidentally made the pages too big and uh, you know it was, it was better that they were too big than too small, but yeah, I had to trim everything down. But luckily, everything looks fine and you wouldn't even know, so. Um, this is just a bag in the middle that has journaling cards, journaling cards, lots of graph paper, lots of room for journaling, envelope for whatever she would like. But there's also like a little tuck spot here, so when you get this, Kathy, just be sure be sure to look around because I might even forget to show a little tuck spot or something like that. Okay, and so this folds out like this, like a little window, and then I added pink paper so that she can have like a nice little spot for some journaling, and then I have this clip right here that kind of holds it closed. A little tab. Whoops, and that goes under there. This is a little tuck spot down here. And then over here, um, this little clip is kind of holding this closed, but you can see so this flips out like so. And then you have journaling spots there. And then you have a little pocket up here as well. I like that little fold out thing. And then here we have this teeny little file folder and look how cute that is. I got that in Happy Mail, I think for my friend Lindsay. I can't remember, but I wish I knew because it's so darn cute little tuck spot, a uh, little envelope here, and that washi tape was from when I was binding the book together. We don't need that. There we go. And I did some stamping throughout too. A belly band. Um, let's see here. I'm trying to remember if this does anything else. This holds just like a little pocket. We have a little side pocket. And then a little belly band again little folder down here, or I guess pocket, not folder. Little manila envelope that has some goodies in it. And this is like a little waterfall she can put photos on. And then we have like a little folder in here. <clears throat> and these are like a little booklet for photos or whatever. Same one on this side. Just a little pocket here. Belly band. Um, another little tuck spot here, and then this up here comes out and is like a little pocket uh, for a photo or something like that. And then we have a little bag with some goodies in it. We have a little side pocket here. This didn't really match, but I really like these bags, and so I wanted to include this. And then a vintage like book page. I thought she maybe would be able to use, maybe not even in here, but I just included it. 
um, and then we are on to the next and again there's that washi from when I was binding the book sorry about that guys um, I did some embossing this little mermaid girl a little side pocket I added some lace back here so it peeks out the sides of the book which I love and then this so we have a double pocket here for tags and I think there's one up here maybe no maybe not and then this folds out like this and then she has this big area to work with so you can see how that goes um, over here this is like a little tuck spot down here I'm just holding it on with a clip just for show <laughs> um, a little index card that's coffee dyed with some washi tape and that's holding on a little pocket back here we have a little pocket here and then this is a manila envelope and I can't remember I might have oh a lot of times I'll just add some lined paper with washi and then pink paper with a little bit of washi sparkly pink and then we have this little double pocket here and uh, not double it's just like a I don't know file folder kind of thing and I made a lot of the um, journaling cards for her and then I think that's it some pink lined paper, little tuck spot down here. I made a little pocket up here. And then this is just, I added one of these little guest checks, but I made it on this little fold out thing. It would be kind of fun if she had like a picture from a restaurant and then she wrote down like what she ate or something. I don't know. <laughs> um, and then we have a little pocket down here, a little envelope baggy thing here. And then a little pocket there. And we are to the back. It's some pretty vellum here, again, that I have washi taped. I totally forgot to go through and take that off, but that's okay. Um, and then we have a double pocket back here, just because I love these pockets. So this holds quite a bit. I wouldn't overstuff it, you know, it's paper, but you can see there's a ton here. So there we go. I hope that she loves it. I had so much fun making this for her, and I have two garden junk journals and a steampunk one to finish which i'm very very close so those of you who are waiting thank you for being patient and uh they should be done by the end of the week and out to you guys uh i don't even know when i'm getting this video up today is the 18th i have my sister's birth to attend i'm having a brand new baby niece coming into the world today so i gotta get going thanks for watching guys i love you so much bye